Hi everyone, this is Jose Trujillo once again coming to you from a corner of the art studio. Today I'm going to, oh, I'm going to show you. I got my Tristan Starbucks, yeah. All right, today I'm going to paint a, this is an 11 by 14 inches uh, canvas board, okay. I'm going to do a little, uh, what do you call it? What do you call this painting? Uh, still lifes. Bam. <laughs> People call them still lifes, I guess. Uh, with some uh, oranges, I guess. Yeah. With some oranges. Okay. Right there. Yeah. This this little thing is, is pretty handy. It's just a little uh, uh, little charcoal pencil. But if you are looking to to um, if you're looking to to uh, you know draw some. Uh, Interesting little stuff. I, I I like drawing like this. Look, if, if I'm overdoing it, I'm already thinking. That's that's the way I um excuse me. <laughs> that's the way I uh, I value it. If I'm overdrawing on the same spot, you know, like going back and back and back, I already feel like I'm overdoing it. Like I'm I'm uh, I'm overthinking it. It's, it, it, it should be one one line, maybe two. I'm talking about me, right? I'm not saying that this is how you should do it. <laughs> I'm just talking. I'm talking about me. <laughs> that's that's what it feels right when it's like when it's like one line, uh, two tops, because uh, the 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 first ones are on the money always. In, in, in what I do and how I do things. Once I start, you know, going back and forth and, and uh, you know, over. And I know when I'm doing it and when I'm, when I'm not, because I can feel it. I can feel it in my, I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> I know when I'm overdoing it and, and when I'm not overdoing it, when I know that I need Something else, you know, it's kind of, it's a feeling. That's all, it's just a feeling. Okay. Very simple. I keep it simple, as I told you guys. Very simple. I don't, I don't like to complicate my life. So many things that are already so complicating. And, uh, I mean, what for, you know? There's already so many things complicating in life. Don't add painting to that. I remember I used to I used to know this uh, uh, teacher and and he wasn't my teacher, but he was he was a pretty cool guy. So 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 I uh, I I liked him a lot. Um, he was an English teacher in high school, and and uh, he used to play guitar. Right, I used to play guitar too. So during during lunch, sometimes we would hang out and play guitar with some other friends that also, you know. Where, uh, where we're trying to make a band. <laughs> but the teacher was very awesome because he, he was like a, you know, he was like a, what was it, like a, I guess what today would be considered a, what do you call it, people? Um, hipster. He's a pretty cool guy, you know. He knew how to play guitar right and, and, uh, and it's just cool to hang out with. So anyways, he used to tell me, he used to tell me that, that, because I asked him, right, do you know how to play by my notes? And he was like, no, 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 never learned. And I was like, oh, how come? You know, he was very, he was very good at playing a kind of jazzy, bluesy guitar style. He was like, I remember him telling me, no, because um, it's one of the only things that I do where I don't want to have structure, like that structure, you know. I thought it was, I thought it was pretty cool, right. You know how things influence you and you don't know why? I think that's one of the things that influenced me to how I see painting. 
that's also one of the things that I that growing up was like, oh, I I see that, I I, I, I get that, you know, not so much that it it just kind of reaffirmed right why why I like to paint the way I do. It's like, oh, I get it. And that's the way. Uh, that's the way I learned how to play guitar too. Very uh, just listening, you know. Not, not. Uh, I got some fundamentals down. I mean, you know, I, I did get some fundamentals down. I think in the beginning, that's really what you're, what you're most concerned with, you know, as a musician or not, 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 not every musician because some musicians. Um, do so much better with with uh, with a lot of structure. Others don't. Others are are more expressive, and others do need you know the. It's kind of like speakers, I think. You know, there's there's some public speakers that are that are uh, that need. You know, it's it's not it's not even uh, they ramble so much, kind of like me. <laughs> <laughs> but they need a, a, a that you know they the, the, the paper in front of them to you know to to guide them. And other speakers are so so uh, fluent, you know the way they speak that they don't they don't need any of that. You know they're good. They're golden. They're golden as they would say. But that's how I feel about painting. Like, do I need that? No, I don't. I don't need that. Do I need a lot of uh, detail? No. I mean, it's nice to have, you know, a good foundation, a good, uh, especially when you're going to draw something um, specific, very specific. It's nice to have it, uh, but it's not necessary. You know, but I mean, what I mean by something very specific is like a specific landmark or, or, uh, you know, like a bridge or something, or like a, a portrait, you know, something more specific, something that involves it looking like that in order to say, you know, well, that's not just a mountain, that's mountain so-and-so, you know, something like that, I don't know. So... A little bit more on the colorist side, more and more. More on the bright colors, is what I mean. I seem to be enjoying that a lot lately. I don't know. I do as I feel, you guys. I do as I feel. I like my uh, oil paint. Some people have asked me. Um, well, not all the time, but I guess I guess lately more because I used to do more heavy impasto. But lately, I've been liking my oil paint to to uh, you know fairly thin thinned out, and uh, it just some people have asked me about this. Um, it works for for what I like to do. Um, I know that if you're, you know, depend. I think I think it's just depending on on, on your movement, right? your brush stroke or whatever. I used to paint fast, but more like more cut, and now I I, I paint more. Uh, I have a little bit more flow. <laughs> I mean, I always paint the fast, but I feel like I I've 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 gone more in the in the direction of 
of like a lot of free flow more and more or what some people call loose brush work I don't know I think it's all good I think I think it's not um, it's not one thing or another it's all good Put the Cause there's something about orange and blue, right? <laughs> Always orange and blue. Come on, right? <laughs> It doesn't take much to see that. All you have to do is go to the, uh, any museum, any art museum, and you'll see uh, the best uh, best combinations. Best pleasing to the eye. Complements or complementaries. We get a little smaller brush because yellow is calling me. There we go. This is Jose Trujillo, world's uh, greatest living artist. Maybe, uh, maybe someone out there is, is, is also good, but that's good to me. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy this uh, this session, this little demo. Um, let me sign my name, and I'm out. Till next time. Take care. Oh, I almost forgot. I have to do this. There we go. I know the background seems like it's like fading into the painting, but uh, it'll be all right. Sorry for the shakiness. All right.